Uh, hi everyone so we have seen the basics of docker creating the containers and uh, managing multiple containers using docker compose so now what is next you can talk about or you can learn about orchestrations using uh, kubernetes you can talk about the docker volume uh, docker different images you can learn more about uh, creating the docker files okay uh, how to release the memory and there are few more commands like docker prune prune image docker prune volume docker prune network docker ecosystem where you can prune everything or purge everything because when you start installing multiple images it will start consuming more memory so you can uh, remove the unused memory unused images unused containers using docker prune containers docker prune images okay so there is a docker lab uh, is out there on the web where you can play around with the docker you can create a docker containers if you don't have a docker installed on your system okay um, you can learn more about creating the or isolating the different environments using docker okay so application development it has a lot of tools like you are de developing the application developers are developing the application pushing the code to the gitlab github bitbucket and then circle ci jenkins or travis ci is running to push the code to the different environments right so this is a complete application development environment and if your application is using multiple application softwares like redis mysql q uh, rabbitmq then you can set up a docker environment for the developers and just pass them docker compose file they will spin up all the containers same thing will happen for developer 2 they need, don't need to install everything okay you can talk more about the docker compose where you can spin up multiple containers like mysql node.js rabbitmq redis and all okay so what is the docker use case it is actually multi-tenancy developer productivity will increase you don't need to uh, invest time in the installation and setup debug capabilities it is adding you can also do the node.js debug using the container app isol apps will be isolated there is a two different apps can be running on two different containers okay so rest we can talk about uh, one particular docker compose file so about the networks so you can create a network for your containers like here app migration is there you can pass the environment you can pass the volume mapping and this is the port mapping you can pass the network for this network is app network right and in the networks create this app network external is true so externally i will be able to talk to this particular container there may be a multiple containers which you can put inside a single network where they can talk to each other from the service names okay 